Jasmine Marie. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another install video. Today I'm installing this gorgeous, gorgeous chestnut brown wig. So I'm going to get right into it. I took the wig out of the package and it didn't come with anything except for the wig. So here it is plucked, bleached and looking beautiful. I flat ironed it, hot combed in everything on my wig. This hair is from Hermosa Hair and here's just some light on it so you guys can really see this wig is so amazing. All right, so of course, as usual, I start off this video using the Ghost Bond glue. I already have my wig cap on. I apply two layers of Ghost Bond glue to the hairline using the end of my comb to smooth it out. And I'm just going to do this two times and in between I'm going to use the blow dryer on a cool setting to make sure that the glue is completely dry. All right, like I said, I'm using that cool setting on the dryer and I'm getting that glue all the way melted. You don't want to start installing the glue until it is completely clear. That means you see no white. If you see any white residue left, then it will be visible on the wig. So you just want to make sure that this step is completely, completely completed before you install this. So boom, I cut my wig into four tabs. Starting with the middle, working my way to the sides, I'm going to pull the wig into the glue and use my comb to really press it in. I'm also going to be using my dryer in a second to make sure that the hair is really get the lace sorry is really getting stuck down and using this comb is to make sure that the hair does not get stuck to the glue that is such an important step because it's just gonna look gunky it's gonna look gunky and a mess if you don't do this step so make sure you guys really pay attention right here just combing the hair back and making sure everything is placed exactly where you want it a problem that i had when i first started doing wigs was i they were never even so just make sure you're looking in the mirror and making sure like it's even on both sides that means one side is not higher than the other so that when you do your edges it's not looking lopsided and crazy like we want this to look all the way together so i'm putting on my wig band and i'm gonna leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes just to make sure that that is really getting stuck down how i want it to I already blow dried, flat ironed, hot combed this wig on my mannequin head, so I'm not going to be doing that in this video. This is simply just me installing this wig. So I'm going to take my brand new razor and I'm going to be cutting in a downward jagged motion along the hairline. I'm sorry that I was so close in the camera, I didn't realize, but I'm going to back up in a second so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. But basically, I'm just cutting off all of the excess lace. Don't be afraid to use your scissors or cut off any hair because we want to get as close to the hairline as possible so that we don't see any lace. So make sure you pull it up and get everything off if you need to. As you can see when I was cutting, I saw a little bit of like residue from the glue. I cleaned that up with alcohol later on so that you can see that, but just make sure that when you are cutting this wig that you are getting as close to the hairline as possible i don't know why i was so into the camera i think i realized and i was like oh let me bend down because they can't even see so bone break <laughs> See, I realized. And then again, I put my hand in front of my face. Like, what am I doing? But anyways, as you can see the motion of my hand, I'm just really going all the way down along my hairline to make sure I'm getting all of that lace off. Boom, 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 boom. It was so tight. Like, y'all wish should be tight to the point when you're cutting it, you're like, oh, Lord, my hair is literally feel like it's getting snatched together because it is. And I'm using these scissors again just to go in and get any of the little imperfections that the razor can't get. So after I am done cutting away, I'm gonna 
use my hot comb to get push the hairs back a little bit more i'm about to clip it and use my even spray along my hairline just a little bit not too much and i'm going to put my wig band back on i'm gonna leave this wig band on for about 20 to 30 minutes because i already did all the steps in between so i just need time for it to really get melted And now I'm going to be adding some layers to this wig. So to each side, I'm going to cut downwards to just frame my face and give this wig some body in the front. So you guys are going to see me do that. And it's pretty self-explanatory. So just watch and follow along with me as I do these um, layers in the front. So after the layers, I'm using this flat iron to just shape the um, the layers that I did. You don't want to curl it too much. You just want to bump it. And as you can see, it just adds more body to the front. You guys can cut away as much as you want. I really don't like super high layers. So I kind of just do them to my liking. And this is a, a step that you can, you know, play with and find out how you like it. And as you can see, it just adds a little body. I love this. And y'all, before I even, before we even get to the next part, I'm just going to explain something to y'all. I really thought I was going to do a no edges look with this wig until I realized that my head looks big AF. So I was like, yeah, no, I need some edges. But before I put the edges on my hair, I tried to convince myself that this looked really good um, without the edges. And I just don't think so. Like some girls can do no edges and I'm just not one of those girls. Like my head looks really huge. So here is the actual final look. I added some curls in this wig. It gave it some body. It looks so amazing. I added edges. I really, really, really love this wig. I've never tried this chestnut brown color. And honestly, it was a 10 out of 10. The lace melted amazing. Thank you so much for this wig. Everything is linked in the description. Make sure you guys check it out. And until next time, bye.